closer. The song Clouds by Zach Sobiak inspired people around the world. His mom wrote about their journey with his terminal cancer. Now, a movie based on her book and his life debuts on Disney Plus on October 16th. The book by Laura Sobiak that ties into the movie will soon be available. It's being re-released and is called Clouds, a Memoir. The book offers an update on the family, the movie, new pictures, and how Zach continues to be a presence in their lives. We spoke with Laura about all of it and why they were so open about their journey. Family, we came together and we talked about what our mission was. And we decided that if it was just about Zach, and his story, we didn't want to do it. But if it was about something bigger, then then we'd be interested in doing, you know, sharing our story. And what we landed on as our family mission was just we want to help kids who are diagnosed with osteosarcoma in the future. And in order to do that, um, especially with an orphan disease like osteosarcoma, you have to share stories about how it affects people. And so that's why we decided to share Zach's story was was to be able to raise awareness about osteosarcoma and raise some money to, to help with the research and finding new, new treatments for kids. And you have been doing that. It's really incredible what you've been doing. You wrote the first book a year after Zach died and really let people into those personal moments, the struggles, joyful times, the tears. People had heard Zach's story and were inspired by him. And the reason that I wanted to write the book is because I wanted people to know kind of the, the inside of what was actually happening with our family and the difficulties, because it was easy to look at our family and, and think, oh, you know, they, they have it all together. And we didn't. And I wanted people to actually see that and live that with us. A lot more has happened since then. A movie based on your book and Zach's life was made and is about to be released. But what will people find in Clouds and Memoir? Yeah, so there's, you know, in Clouds and Memoir, there's, yeah, obviously the movie has a different storyline than a mother's perspective of, of, you know, walking with Zach through cancer. What they'll find in Clouds and Memoir is just more about the relationships in our family, the difficulties, the struggles. Um, there's a whole chapter on, on our marriage and how we had to work through some really tough times. Um, so there's, there's more of that in the, in the book than there is in the movie. Um, but there's also hope. There's hope in both. And I hope that people are able to partake in that hope um, viewing the movie and reading the book. Zach had just a really incredible view on life and, and how to live. Um, mm -hmm. Is that some of the hope that you wish to share? Yes, absolutely. He was so passionate, especially as a teenager who knew he had limited time. He was freed from all the, the things that normally keep us from really exploring who we are and what we can bring to the world. He lost all those inhibitions. And so he was able to really tap into his gifts, his talent, um, and share it with the world. And what I really love about Zach and his, his story and how he shared himself was like he wasn't perfect. You know, he, his voice was okay, <laughs> you know, but it wasn't great. Um, he wasn't a super polished performer, but that didn't stop him. He went ahead with it anyhow. And that's one of the things I really love about his story is I think, especially now with the effects of social media and all the sort of polished images, images that we put out there. Um, Zach showed us you don't have to. You don't have to be that. You can just be who you are and still change the world. We can all learn something from that. Clouds, a memoir, is available now for pre-order. It's available October 13th, days before the movie premieres. And we have the information along with how you can join Zach's movement and learn about the fund in his name with the Children's Cancer Research Fund. It is all at wcco.com slash links.